I'd like to talk about vocational dreams and their significance for uh, individuals undergoing the process of uh, uh, individuation uh, or career change in uh, any uh, uh, midlife or early uh, adult career transition. Uh, vocational dreams are dreams that arise from our deepest uh, self. They are essentially the uh, core uh, principles of the personality. Um, uh, they contain archetypes, uh, typically, and these are uh, what uh, I've called vocational archetypes. They're controlled or patterned by uh, symbols. These are vocational symbols, and you can see these uh, images appear uh, over the course of a series of dreams uh, that one can uh, observe uh, during the course of a, uh, a, a lifetime. I myself have been keeping a dream journal for 40 years. Uh, I began keeping a dream journal uh, after I discovered a book by Carl Jung, uh, Man and His Symbols. Although I had had a dream before I discovered Jung that was significant and I would say was vocational, I didn't know what a vocational dream was until I began reading Jung. Uh, probably the most famous uh, vocational dream uh, on record uh, now that we have uh, Carl Jung's Red Book uh, is the dream of Philemon. Uh, this is a dream that Jung recorded in his Black Books. These are the books that Jung used to uh, transcribe when he was creating the, re the Red Book. Uh, the dream was of a, a winged uh, being, a, a man with horns, bull's horns, who was uh, flying in the sky, and he had four uh, keys, uh, one of which he was holding in an extended uh, position as if he were going to open a door. This dream, I would say, is uh, probably uh, the dream that opened the door for Jung to the discovery of active imagination. He was already using fantasy thinking uh, when he wrote his book, Symbols of Transformation, uh, and when he was first experimenting with his black books. But this dream in particular really became the seminal dream that uh, helped him engage in a dialogue that he called uh, the confrontation with the unconscious. He developed this idea that uh, Philemon's thoughts were not his. They, they were objective thoughts. They spoke through him. Uh, and Philemon taught Jung what he called psychic objectivity or the reality of the psyche. Now, this dream uh, is an example from Jung's life. I myself started uh, looking at dreams objectively when I was a student at UC Santa Cruz. Uh, at the age of 24, I was put in charge of teaching dream groups to a class of 100 students. Uh, and the aim of the class was to confirm your vocation through your dream life or see if you could confirm it. And I had the uh, great benefit of being able to observe this phenomenon in uh, students' dreams in early adult career transition at the university. Uh, later, I took up a study of 10 individuals for my master's uh, thesis on vocational dreams at John F. Kennedy University in Orinda. Uh, this allowed me to develop some of my own hypotheses, one of which is the hypothesis of the nuclear symbol that there's a nuclear structuring symbol in the personality. It's an organizing symbol, a symbol of wholeness that uh, typically corresponds to some early uh, emergence of the archetype of vocation uh, in one's uh, childhood. Uh, for myself, it was at the age of seven, uh, and I had a dream uh, while I was doing this research of being in my second grade classroom with my teacher, Mrs. Rasmussen, who was reading stories to the class from the Native American Indians, one of which was the uh, story of the vision quest, the, the rites of passage for early youth. 
uh, this was a very profound dream. Uh, it was a dream that had both personal and transpersonal uh, associations to it, or amplifications, as we say, as Jungians. Um, I would say over the course of, of the 40 years that I've been keeping a dream journal, I've uh, logged over 15,700 dreams. Um, of those dreams, uh, approximately, of course I can't determine exactly, but I would say approximately 7%, uh, which is to say uh, about 1,044 dreams, uh, were uh, vocational in nature. Vocational dreams uh, tend to be what Jung called big dreams. They tend to open us up to experiences that are transpersonal in nature and fill us with a sense of what Rudolf Otto called uh, the holy or a sense of the numinous. When one has these dreams, one gets a distinct feeling of a presence. And um, I would say that in the background of the vocational dreams, there is a structuring archetype. This is the archetype of the self. So when I speak of vocational dreams, I'm also speaking of being on a self path because vocational dreams put us in accord with the way of the self that is inborn and that is the way of nature and also our spiritual nature. So uh, I hope this has been an informative uh, video for you and I will be speaking in another video about vocational dreams and what C.G. Jung called uh, synchronicity. Thank you for listening.